Today I'll be showing you how to make a super cool 3D tunnel effect in Scratch. So let's just get right into it. So I have three sprites. The first one is this octagon with the lines and then the second octagon just in another color. Then the second sprite is just this really bright octagon with like a halo of light around it. Then the third sprite is just this black box. So let's go to the first sprite and go to code. So we'll make two new variables called x and y and set x to 0 and also set y to 0. Now when clicked, we'll set these two to 0 and then we will hide the sprite because we'll be working with clones. Then I'm just going to set the size to 75% and go to x0, y0, so the center of the screen. Okay, now forever, wait 0.1 seconds, next costume and create a clone of myself. So every 0.1 seconds, we're gonna be switching to the next costume and creating a clone of myself. All right, then we're going to just get out another forever loop and another wing green flag clicked. So forever, we're gonna wait one second and then repeat five times. We're going to change y by 0.1. Then we're gonna repeat eight times, change x by minus 0.1. We'll also wait one second again and set y to minus 0.5. And then repeat eight times, change x by 0.1. So this is basically changing the movement of our octagons. So they will move on the screen and it will look more like a real tunnel. And while we're here, let's just hide X and Y. So now all we need is a when I start as a clone to tell us what happens when we start as a clone. We will show of course because we have hidden our sprite before and then we'll repeat 140 times. So it will start small and it will get bigger until like at the edge of the screen and then I'll delete itself. We're going to change the Y by Y and the X by X. Then we'll change the brightness effect by minus one. Okay, that's good and all, but we haven't changed the size yet. So let's do that. We're gonna change size by, and we're gonna make a new variable. Call it size, and it should be for this sprite only. So the reason for this is we don't want sprite to be global, so all everything changes at once. It should be for each clone only. Up here, we can set the size to zero. Okay, now again, we'll change the size by 0.4 and change size by size. Now let's hit the green flag and look at that guys we successfully made a 3D tunnel. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and want to see more 3D stuff then this 3D pound video is just the one for you.